Psalm 46 stands as a mighty testament to the power and providence of our almighty God. Offering profound reassurance and comfort in times of trouble and uncertainty, as I delve into the sacred psalm, you are invited to experience the unwavering strength and protection that God provides for his people. In Psalm 46, we encounter a resounding declaration of God's sovereignty and steadfast presence amidst the chaos of life. The opening verse sets the tone, proclaiming God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. These words serve as a steadfast anchor, grounding us in the assurance that no matter the consequences, God remains your steadfast refuge and source of strength. Throughout the psalm, we are reminded of God's unrivaled power to calm the storms of life and bring peace to your troubled hearts. As you navigate the challenges of this world, you can take solace in the promise that God is with you, guiding you through every trial and tribulation. As we embark on this journey of prayer, let us draw near to the God of Psalm 46, seeking God's divine protection and guidance in every aspect of our lives. May you find comfort in His presence, strength and His promises, and peace and His unfailing love. Let us lift our voices in prayer, declaring our trust in the Almighty God who is our refuge and strength now and forevermore. Heavenly Father, thank you for I know you are willing to protect and be a shield for your child. As we use your word written in Psalm 46 to speak protection over your child, thank you Lord for I know it is a done deal. Verse 1 of Psalm 46, God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. I lift you up in prayer, acknowledging that God is your refuge and strength and ever-present help in your trouble. I pray that you will find comfort and strength in knowing that God is with you always, ready to come to your aid in times of need. May you take refuge in God's unfailing love and find strength in God's mighty power. Therefore, we will not fear. Though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the hearts of the sea. Psalm 46 verse 2 Lord, I thank you for the assurance that your beloved child does not need to fear. Even in the face of the most daunting challenges, though the earth may tremble and the mountains may crumble, you can stand firm in your faith. Knowing that God is in control, I pray that you will find peace in the midst of chaos, trusting in God's sovereignty and unfailing love. Verse 3 of Psalm 46 Though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surgeon, I pray for your protection amidst the raging storms of life. When the waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surgeon, may you find refuge in the shelter of God's wings. May you feel the peace that surpasses all understanding knowing that God is in control of every situation. Psalm 46 verse 7 The Lord Almighty is with you. The God of Jacob is your fortress. May you make God your fortress in every challenging situation. I pray that you grow to the understanding that the Lord is always with you. You are always protected. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you that every challenging situation in your life you will see reason to call God your fortress. The Lord will come through for you in ways you didn't expect. May this particular verse be a source of strength and peace to you through trying times in Jesus' name. Verse 10 of Psalm 46. He says, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted amongst the nations. I will be exalted on the earth. I pray that you will heed to God's gentle command and be still and know that He is God. In the midst of chaos and turmoil of life, may you find rest in God's presence, knowing that God is in control. May you surrender all your fears and worries to God, trusting in God's perfect plan and purpose for your life. 
I thank you, Father, for I know you are always with us and always by your beloved child's side. May the Lord Almighty be your protector and defender. I pray that you will take comfort in God's presence, knowing that God is with you in every situation. May you find strength and courage in God's unfailing love, trusting in God's promises and relying on his grace. In Jesus' name, may this prayer of protection envelope you in the loving arms of the Almighty, shielding you from every danger and guiding you safely through life's journey. I declare God's victory over every situation that you may face, even in the midst of turmoil and chaos. I pray that you will experience God's peace that surpasses all understanding. May it calm your fears and fill you with God's strength and courage. I lift up your family and loved ones to God. May the Lord protect them and keep them safe from harm. May the Lord watch over them with his loving care and may his peace reign in your hearts and homes. May the Lord surround you with his presence and let his angels encamp around you. In Jesus' name, I pray for your community and your nation. In a world filled with unrest and uncertainty, I ask for God's divine intervention and protection. May the Lord shield you from every threat and danger and may God's justice and righteousness prevail in Jesus' name. I come before God today seeking God's divine protection and guidance over your life. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. I ask that the Lord would surround you with his presence and keep you safe from harm. I pray for God's protection over your life, both now and forevermore. May the Lord shield you from every danger and trap. And may God's peace reign in your heart. May he guide you from the attacks of the enemy and let angels encamp around you. I declare God's victory over every situation that you may face. Even in the midst of turmoil and chaos, I pray that you will experience God's peace that surpasses all understanding. May it strengthen your faith and fill you with God's courage and strength. I lift up your family and loved ones to God. May he protect them and keep them safe from harm. May the Holy Spirit watch over them with God's love and care. And may God's presence be a fortress around them. In Jesus' name, I pray for our community and our nation in a world filled with unrest and uncertainty, I thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness and your unfailing love. May the Lord be your rock and fortress and shield and your strength. I pray that you will find refuge in God, knowing that God is always near, ready to help in times of need. In Jesus' name, I pray. I pray that any cords of death that seek to entangle you or your family be cut off in Jesus' name. I pray that you shall not be overwhelmed by distress and sorrow in the name of Jesus. May you enjoy peace in Jesus' name. I pray even in your darkest hour, you shall trust in the unfailing love of the Father and seek refuge in his comforting presence in Jesus' name. I pray that in the time of need, you'll look to the Father as your Savior and Redeemer, trusting in His power to deliver you from every trial and hardship in Jesus' name. I pray that the gracious and righteous Father surround you with His abounding compassion and mercy in Jesus' name. May the Lord extend His loving kindness to you who call upon His name. May you experience in full His faithfulness and yours forever in Jesus' name. According to the psalmist's prayer in Psalm 116 verse 6, The Lord protects the unwary. When I was brought low, he saved me. I pray that the Lord protects you when you are unwary. I pray in Jesus' name. May he come to your aid in moments where you seem your lowest in Jesus' name. I pray that the might of the Lord lifts you up from the depths of despair in Jesus' name. May you find rest in the presence of the Lord in Jesus' name. According to Psalm 116 verse 7, 
Return to your rest, my soul, for the Lord has been good to you. I pray that you abound in the goodness of God, even in the midst of turmoil. May you trust in the faithfulness of the Lord and find peace in his unfailing love. In Jesus' name, according to the prayer of the psalmist in Psalm 116, verses 8 to 9, For you, Lord, have delivered me from death my eyes from tears, my feet from stumbling, that I may walk before the Lord in the land of the living. I pray that the Lord delivers you from the clutches of death, wipe away your tears and steady your feet in Jesus' name. May the Lord's hand of protection guide you through every trial in Jesus' name. I pray that you walk before the Father in the land of the living living a life that is pleasing to him in jesus name i pray strength and wisdom for you to walk in the ways of the lord all the days of your life in jesus name i pray that you trust in the lord when you are greatly afflicted in jesus name as the psalmist said in psalm 116 verse 10 i trusted in the lord when i said i am greatly afflicted in moments of fear and alarm i pray that you hold on to the truth of the Lord's promises over your life. In Jesus' name, I pray that the Lord rescues you from any brink of destruction you find yourself in. Gift of eternal life through your Son, Jesus Christ. As the psalmist mentioned in Psalm 116 verse 16, You have freed me from my chains. I declare that you are freed from every chain limiting your freedom and advancement. In Jesus' name, I declare that goodness of God in your life shall be proof to those around you of the faithfulness and grace of the Lord in Jesus name I pray that in the times of trouble when you cannot see or understand I pray that you trust in truth that the Lord will never leave you or forsake you in Jesus name I pray that the Lord protect you when you are weak and vulnerable to the schemes of the wicked in Jesus name I declare that you are shielded from harm in Jesus name I pray that justice is brought to those who seek to oppress and exploit you in Jesus name. I pray that the Lord break through the pride of your enemies and humble them. I pray that the Lord brings to an end the prosperity of the wicked who mock you in Jesus name. I pray that the Lord silences the lies and threats of the wicked over your life in Jesus name. I declare that their deceitful tongues and their plans to spread trouble and evil in your life is exposed and thwarted in Jesus name. I pray that a wall of fire surround you protecting you from the schemes of the wicked who lie in wait to harm you in Jesus name I declare that you are delivered from every oppression you are faced under the grasp of the enemy in Jesus name I declare that the plans of the wicked who seek to prey on you be disrupted in Jesus name I pray that the Lord rescues you when you find yourself ensnared in the traps of the enemy and deliver you to safety in Jesus name According to Psalm 10 verse 12, Arise, Lord, lift up your hand, O God, do not forget the helpless. I pray that the hand of God is lifted up against the wicked who threaten you, in Jesus' name. May the righteousness of the Lord shine forth, bringing deliverance in Jesus' name. I declare that to the wicked that are determined to ensure that you do not succeed, the folly of their ways is revealed to them and the consequences of their actions. I declare to you that God sees your trouble when you are afflicted and considers your grief according to Psalm 10 14. But you, God, see the trouble of the afflicted. You consider their grief and take it in hand. The victims commit themselves to you. You are the helper of the fatherless, as the helper of the fatherless and the protector of the oppressed. I pray that you experience those dimensions of him on your life in Jesus name. I commit you to the Lord, knowing that he is your refuge and strength. According to Psalm 10, 15, break the arm of the wicked man, call the evildoer to account for his wickedness that will not otherwise be found. I pray that the Lord breaks the power of the wicked, harassing you and hold them accountable for their deeds in Jesus name. I pray that the Lord 
hears your cries and when you are afflicted in Jesus name may he encourage you when you are in distress in Jesus name according to Psalm 10 17 to 18 you Lord hear the desires of the afflicted you encourage them and you listen to their cry defending the fatherless and the oppressed so that mere earthly mortals will never strike terror i declare that the lord defends you as it defends the fatherless and the oppressed ensuring that you will never be struck again with terror in jesus name you lord hear the desire of the afflicted you encourage them and you listen to their cry defending the fatherless and the oppressed so that mere earthly mortals will never again strike terror i declare that the lord defends you as he defends the fatherless and the oppressed ensuring that you will never again be struck with terror in jesus name i pray that you enjoy peace and contentment in presence of the Father. In Jesus' name, I pray that the schemes of the wicked over your life will come to nothing and their power will fade like the grass. In Jesus' name, may you dwell securely in the Lord's provision and find rest in his care. In Jesus' name, I pray that you find joy in the Lord and that your desire aligns with the will of the Father. In Jesus' name, I pray that your desires are granted as your heart align with the purposes and plans for the Father for your life. In Jesus' name, according to the Psalm 37 verse 4, Take delight in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. I commit your path to the Lord, trusting in his guidance and protection over your life. In Jesus' name, according to Psalm 37, verses 5 to 6, commit your way to the Lord. Trust in him and he will do this. He will make your righteous reward shine like the dawn, your vindication like the noonday sun. May the Lord lead you in the way that you should go and bring about his purposes for your life. In Jesus' name. I pray that the justice and vindication of the Lord be brought against your enemies aiming to disrupt your life in Jesus' name. I pray that the Lord keeps you from being overwhelmed with anxiety over the apparent success of the wicked. For according to Psalm 37 verse 9, For those who are evil will be destroyed, but those who hope on the Lord will inherit the land. I declare Psalm 37 verse 10 over you, a little while and the wicked will be no more. Though you look for them, they will not be found. I declare that the wicked will not prevail no more over your life. In Jesus' name, I declare that they will untimely be brought to nothing. In Jesus' name, according to Psalm 37 verse 11, but the meek will inherit the land and enjoy peace and prosperity. I pray that you walk in peace and prosperity. In Jesus' name, may you inherit the good of the land. In Jesus' name, I pray that the Lord protect you from the schemes of the wicked who seek to harm and undermine you. In Jesus' name, may you receive discernment to recognize the plots of the wicked and plans of the wicked. For according to Psalm 37 verse 13, but the Lord laughs at the wicked. For he knows their day is coming. You shall laugh at the plans of the wicked as the Lord laughs in Jesus' name. May you laugh because their day of reckoning has come. In Jesus' name, may you find comfort in the knowledge that the Lord is in control. I pray that the Lord protects you from the violence of the wicked. In Jesus' name, I declare Psalm 37 verse 15 over your enemies. But their swords will pierce their own hearts and their bows be broken. In Jesus' name, I declare that the plans of the wicked backfire upon them. In Jesus' name, and may their weapons of destruction be turned against themselves. In Jesus' name, may you find contentment in the blessings the Lord provides for you. In Jesus' name, may you treasure the riches of the Lord's grace above all else 
in jesus name according to psalm 37 verse 17 the power of the wicked will be broken but the lord upholds the righteous i pray that the lord upholds you in jesus name i declare the downfall of the wicked attacking you in jesus name i declare that the power be broken in jesus name i declare that you are strengthened to stand firm in the lord's righteousness knowing that he is your defender and our protector May you take refuge in the care of the Lord according to Psalm 37 verse 18. The blameless spend their days under the Lord's care and their inheritance will endure forever. I declare that your inheritance endures forever in Jesus' name according to Psalm 37 verse 19. In times of disaster, they will not wither. In days of famine, they will enjoy plenty. I pray that the Lord sustains you in times of trial and difficulty and provide for your needs abundantly i declare that you laugh at famine and destruction in jesus name i speak psalm 37 verse 20 over your enemies the wicked will perish though the lord's enemies are like the flowers in the field they will be consumed they will go up and smoke in jesus name i pray the righteous judgment of god over the wicked over and around you in jesus name i pray that you are blessed with the inheritance of the lord in jesus name according to psalm 37 verse 22 those the lord blesses will inherit the land i declare that the lord's favor rests upon you in jesus name i pray that the lord will protect you from the destruction that comes upon those who reject the ways of the lord and oppose his kingdom in jesus name according to psalm 37 verse 23 the Lord makes firm the steps of the one who delights in him. I pray that the Lord guides your steps and establish your path as you delight in him. In Jesus' name, may you walk in alignment with the will of the Father, having confidence in his leading and protection. In Jesus' name, I speak Psalm 37 verse 24 over you. Though you may stumble, you will not fall, for the Lord upholds you with his hands. In Jesus' name, I pray that the Lord will not forsake you and your family. In Jesus' name, according to Psalm 37 verse 25, I was young and now I am old, yet I have never seen the righteous forsaken or their children begging bread. According to Psalm 37 verse 26, they are always generous and lend freely. Their children will be a blessing. I declare that you are generous and lend freely in Jesus' name. May your life and your actions be a blessing to others both now and for generations to come in jesus name i pray that your life be a reflection of righteousness and may you dwell securely in the lord's presence forever i declare that the dangers surrounding you will lose power to inflict harm in Jesus' name. May the righteous anger of the Lord cause the earth to tremble and the mountains to quake, instilling confusion among your enemies, as stated in Psalm 18 verse 5. The earth trembled and quaked, and the foundations of the mountains shook. They trembled because he was angry. I pray that his righteous anger acts as a shield around you, guarding you from harm in jesus name i declare that the torrents of destruction threatening to overwhelm you will cease in jesus name even when ensnared by the traps of the enemy and surrounded by the shadows of death i declare that you will remain unshaken in jesus name i declare that your steps are kept steady by the lord's guidance and i pray that he prevents your feet from stumbling or faltering. Just as the psalmist proclaimed in Psalm 18 verse 37 to 38, I pursued my enemies and overtook them. I did not turn back till they were destroyed. I crushed them so that they could not rise. They fell beneath my feet. I pray that the Lord goes before you in battle and grants you victory over your adversaries. With the Lord's strength and guidance, may you relentlessly pursue your enemies until they are defeated. May you crush your foes underfoot and render them powerless by the divine strength invested in you. I declare that the power of God is evident 
in your life as you stand victorious over every adversary. Psalm 18 verse 39 declares, You armed me with strength for battle. You humbled my adversaries before me. I declare that your adversaries are humbled and bow down before the mighty hand of the Lord. At the command of the Lord, I declare that your enemies flee in terror and I declare victory over them as stated in Psalm 18 verse 40. You made my enemies turn their backs in flight and I destroyed my foes. I pray that the glory of the Lord is revealed as you triumph over every obstacle and adversity in your path in Jesus' name. I pray that the Lord envelopes you in the wings of his protection, lifting you above the dangers of this world in Jesus' name. May you perceive him as your light and salvation even in the darkest of times. May the Lord serve as a covering for you, shielding you from the enemy's schemes and enveloping you in the shelter of his love. May his presence shine brightly in your life, illuminating your path and scattering darkness. Joseph Psalm 18 verse 12 describes, Out of the brightness of his presence, clouds advanced, with hailstones and bolts of lightning. May the radiance of the Lord drive away foe with bolts of lightning and hailstones. In Jesus' name, may the sound of God's voice over your life bring protection, instilling fear in the hearts of your enemies. As Psalm 18 verse 13 illustrates, the Lord thundered from heaven. The voice of the Most High resounded. May the Lord scatter your enemies with his powerful arrows and bolts of lightning, as stated in Psalm 18 verse 14. He shot his arrows and scattered the enemy with great bolts of lightning. He routed them. I declare that your enemies will flee from you in terror in every direction, according to Psalm 18 verse 15. The valleys of the sea were exposed and the foundation of the earth laid bare at your rebuke, Lord, at the blast of breath from your nostrils. May the Lord rebuke every threat against you, exposing and rendering them ineffective in Jesus' name. May the breath of life from the Father sustain you in times of trouble. In Jesus' name, I pray that you move forward with the understanding that the Lord is your source of strength and the guardian of your journey. As Psalm 18 verse 32 affirms, It is God who arms me with strength and keeps my way secure. May the Lord clothe you with his might and keep you secure in his love. I declare that you walk with confidence knowing that the Lord is beside you every step of the way. As stated in Psalm 18 verse 33, He makes my feet like the feet of a deer. He causes me to stand on the heights. I pray that the Lord empowers you to navigate life's challenges with agility and grace. May your feet be firmly planted on the heights of God's promises where you can stand in victory and offer praise to His holy name. According to Psalm 18 verse 34, He trains my hands for battle. My arms can bend a bow of bronze. I pray that the Lord equips you for spiritual battles you encounter each day. May He strengthen your hands for warfare and empower you to wield the weapons of righteousness with skill and precision in times of trouble. I pray that the Lord serves as your refuge and shield sustaining you with his right hand and lifting you up as Psalm 18 verse 35 declares I declare that the Lord's assistance in your life elevates you in the eyes of your adversaries according to Psalm 18 verse 36 you provide a broad path for my feet so that my ankles do not give way I pray that the Lord smooths the path before you making a way where there seems to be no way as Psalm 18 verse 41 states, They cried for help, but there was no one to save them. To the Lord, but he did not answer. I pray that when your enemies cry out, their pleas remain on earth because they have rejected the ways of the Lord and the his commands. I pray that their cries for help go unanswered and they face the consequences of their rebellion. May your adversaries be scattered like chaff before the wind and may you trample them underfoot like mud in the streets. 
just as the psalm is described in Psalm 18 verse 42. I bit them as fine as wind-blown dust. I trampled them like mud in the street. I pray that justice prevails as your oppressors are crushed and you are vindicated. I pray that you are strengthened inwardly by the Spirit of God and that your faith is fortified, enabling you to stand firm in the truth of God's word. As Psalm 18 verse 17 states, He rescued me from my powerful enemy, from my foes who were too strong for me. I implore you to deliver me from the snares of the adversary. May every darkness seeking to consume you be dispelled in Jesus' name. May the path of righteousness illuminate before you. And may the angels of the Lord surround you, encamping around you as a shield against the attacks of the enemy. I pray that the Lord grants you discernment to recognize the schemes of the evil one and wisdom to navigate through them victoriously. Amen.